Hello, this is Don Downey with Forest Metrics. This is a quick demonstration to show you the different ways that you can measure trees in Forest Metrics. I have here a, a sample file um, and we're going to go through the different ways, compare them each. So I'm going to go into settings here and I'm going to touch tree measurement method. And we'll start with single product, single product by merchantable height. We can call our heights in 16 foot logs and half logs in the number of eight foot sticks or bolts or the number of feet. We'll leave it at 16 foot logs and half logs. And we're going to close this and we're going to go back home and then to our plots. I'm just going to add a plot here. So clean slate, we are on plot three and I'm going to add a tree. So I hit the plus button and I'm going to call a tree red maple 13 inch. I have one and a half saw logs and that's it. Red oak 15 inch. I have one saw log. Red oak 15 inch. I have two saw logs and so forth. Quaking aspen 8 inch. I have two and a half pulp. That is single product. Okay. So now we will go back home. Now I'm going to play with different tree measurement methods in a single cruise. This is not actually uh, legit in terms of proper data collection. You can't mix and match uh, tree measurement methods in a single cruise. But now I'm going to show you multiple products in varying lengths. And this is where it'll say, how many different products are you typically calling? Now we're going to leave that at two and you'll see what that means once we get to the tally page. But this means it's going to walk us up two different products before shutting down. So again, I'll go back home and go to plots <clears throat> and we'll go to our next plot. Okay. So I hit the plus button and red maple 13 inch. I have one and a half logs of saw timber and then one log of pulp on top of that. So that's multiple product in varying lengths. Sugar maple, 16 inch, one and a half logs of saw timber, one and a half logs of pulp. Now as we're doing this, note the red on the left hand side. Red oak, 13 inch. Now as soon as I call a height, we see that red number. That is the diameter inside bark at the top of that log product. So right now I just called one log 16 feet up the tree. We are 10.4 inches at our diameter inside bark. So that might help you make better product calls. Now when I call another one and a half, so right now it's saying two and a half logs up or 40 feet up, I'm down to 8.7 inches diameter inside bark. That's it. Now I can always just call an additional third product. I don't have any here on this product list, but I could call up to three different products using this interface. I'm going to call that plot done and go back home. I'm going to go to my settings, go to tree measurement method. Now I'm going to call multiple products every, and I'll just demonstrate every eight foot segment. So this is where for every eight feet of the tree, you're actually calling a product. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to cut that tree into eight foot segments, but you'll see this can be a pretty fast way to tally different grade trees. So I call it multiple products every eight foot section. I'm going to go home and then to my plots page. And I'll go add another plot. Okay. So I add a tree and I'll say red maple. 13 inch. Now it's going to walk me up each eight foot section. I'm going to call a grade. So saw log, saw log, saw log, pulp, 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 pulp. Add another tree. Sugar maple, 16 inch. Saw log, saw log, saw log, pulp, 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 pulp. So this is saying I have eight, 16, 24 feet of saw log, and then one, two, three, four, eight foot sections of pulp. So as we're walking from the butt, to the crown and you can do up to it would accommodate up to 12 8 foot sections or if you're doing multiple products in 16 foot sections it'll accommodate up to 196 feet of merchantability so one last white pine 23 inch saw log saw log saw log saw log pulp 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 pulp
And again, this red number is indicating your diameter inside bark at the top of each of those logs as you walk up the tree.